What's going on everybody? We're at Riverside Family Fitness and we are training back today. And we are gonna go through the workout with Colin and Paul. Colin is a young guy coming up in classic and we are working on building out his physique. His main issue right now is getting the back up to match the rest of his physique. So I'm gonna take him through the back workout. I'm gonna teach him some things, hopefully fix his form and we'll watch him grow like a weed in the coming time for next year's shows. So. Let's get to it. That's it, just like that. Stretch, that's it. From the stretch. Good, that's it. This is a professional athlete here. Fuck you, Paul. It's because my triceps killing me. I can't pull it down. Okay, I'm good. Fuck you, Paul. Fuck you too, Colin. I'm only gonna get like one rep anyway. I don't know why I'm bothering with this shit. See, if you have a good partner, he'll fucking set your elastic, your band up for you. That's it. <laughs> oh shit, I'm stuck. Time under tension, eh? My arm hurt. My arm hurts. I can't do it. No, I'm serious. What's wrong, Paul? You can't get in there. Yeah. See. Yeah. See. Okay. Hang on. There. Step in the other foot. I want to see how many you get. Oh, yours are shit. Mine are better than that. No, you can't. You're not even 90 degrees with your arms. This is dog shit. Fucking. Form. Look at your fat stomach showing. <laughs> That's it, just like that. Dig those elbows. When you get to the very bottom, drop your shoulders. That's it. Just flex that back. Flex those lats. Come on. So I am at Bubby's Awesome Eats in Windsor. I'm here with my training partner, sidekick, uh, Paul Lozon, the new classic kid on the block, Colin. And we are uh, about to eat. I'm trying to down a four pound burger. <laughs> it was a bad idea to have a cheat meal last night because I'm not hungry at all. But for you guys, I am gonna kill this burger. Or I'm gonna try anyway. <laughs> Disclaimer. Disclaimer. So Colin thinks that Chris Bumstead won the classic handily. What do you think? Handily. I don't know about handily. Two different physiques completely. I remember. Paul's a, Paul's a judge at a very, very low level. So. <laughs> I'm a national level judge. Sorry, I couldn't keep a straight face. I'm a head judge. <laughs> Paul's a head judge. I've been judging for 20 years. <laughs> Those that make food have about me. It's always fun. <laughs> Anyways, Paul's a judge, so curious to get the judge's opinion. I didn't watch classic. You didn't watch classic? Well, no, I just saw the two see, I didn't watch he's classic. a fucking. He's a fucking <laughs> I like two in the morning. He's a fucking asshole bodybuilder. As soon as he sees the bodybuilding's over, he shuts it off. He's not a real. Oh, yeah, he's right. not a real fan. That's no. why. 
Did you step to all three in the morning? I watched the class. I watched the class. I was very happy for Chris, <laughs> our fellow Canadian. I was, I was very happy. I even called him, texted him that night. I said, congratulations. No, I didn't do that. <laughs> Who is not nearly as nice as he likes I messaged him on stuff. Instagram, though, like everybody else, and said, congratulations. Uh, and I did stay up and watch it. And I'm a little torn, I got to say. Chris looks like a classic guy. It's only because I don't know how they're judging it, right? If they're judging it like a bodybuilding show, I think Breon wins. He's got a better back and better arms. But if it's not a bodybuilding show, it's a classic show. So if you're looking at it like a classic Chris, show. Chris fits the description of classic better, I think. I just, what I said to Colin, what we were talking about earlier was they need to have a quantifiable criteria that people know to, to shoot for. Yeah. yeah. Right? Exactly. Because if you're talking, let's say you're shooting like, let's say the thing is, um, we want the classic look and we're not judging by bodybuilding standards. Then how come Peterson, Peterson beat Keon? Yeah, well, that, that's... Because if you're going by that standard, then Keon should have beat uh, Peterson. Yeah, I, I, I can't speak on that because, I didn't, again, I didn't want to... Well, the thing is... Based on pictures. But Keon, I've only seen... I've only seen a little bit of him so far. Does he got a, does he, he was in shape at the Olympia. I know he's in shape, but is his body completely developed at this point in his career? No, but I think what I'm trying to say, he looks more of a classic, he looks more of a classic, like a classic guy than George Peterson does. Yeah. But George Peterson's physique is amazing yeah, it is. if you're judging it like a bodybuilding show. Yeah, yeah. I, maybe it's just because Keon's just not balanced yet, you know? He's I balanced. Know. Is he? I think they, they messed the judging up there because if you're going to tell everybody we're going for a classic look, then you got to be consistent with it, and then you sh it should have went Chris Bumstead, uh, Breon, and then Keon, right? Right. Right. And then maybe, maybe even other guys, because George Peterson, he's amazing, but he's a bodybuilder. He's a small. Bodybuilder. He looks like a yeah. bodybuilder. Yeah. So, and then if you're going to put Peterson in third, because he looks great in bodybuilding terms, that means Breon wins. If you're going to go, if by you're going to go by bodybuilding yeah, standards. Right. So it's a very confusing thing for guys, and I just but think they should have a... When Breon's standing next to Chris on stage, he's a much smaller guy, though, right? Well, I think, yeah. And in bodybuilding, classic more bodybuilding, that always is a... Is a uh, it's a negative. Is a, yeah, yeah. Well, a negative or... Yeah, it's, it's a... It's it works a more, against you. Yeah. 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 Well, no, I think definitely Chris's height wor stature. works for him, right? Because yeah. it makes the, all the muscle look long and lean. Yeah. And it's it's not compact like a bodybuilder. It's got a long, leaner look to it. Yeah. Love, man. <laughs> All right, the four a four pound burger. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. This is ridiculous. There's no way. Look how many tomatoes are on. There's no way I'm gonna finish this. There's no way in hell you're gonna finish that. But if I do, I'll buy it. That's all I get if I finish this. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna finish this. But I'm about to try, and we're gonna set the timer and see just how long it takes. And go. Holy shit.
Uh, what is Well, Toronto Post always had it. Yeah, got rid of it. Yeah. It's coming back to what, what do you mean? Yeah. Oh. It, yeah, the, the Arnold started, Arnold started a few years ago when the Arnold's got rid of it. And everyone else kind of followed suit, stopped, yeah, stopped yeah. offering it. And then they were trying to push it. It seems to be like, for some reason, it seems to be coming back good. now. <laughs> so I wouldn't call it popular, but it's making a bit of a comeback. All right. Uh, no, I'm 20 minutes in, and this is fucking devastating. <laughs> so, I'm down like two pounds, two and a half pounds, maybe. I got this little piece of fucking meat to go, and it's killing me. I think I'm gonna barf. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Don't repeat it. You're such an idiot. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah. <clears throat> Fuck you, Paul. <laughs> I think you would have waited a couple hours after work on like this would I think you should shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> All the vegans out there watching yeah. this are cringe vegan diet after this. That's what we should title it. The vegan special workout. <laughs> anti vegan. The vegan, the vegan workout. I know. I'm gonna barf. I'm literally gonna barf. You know, I've, I've never barfed from eating. You know that? Really? I found this surprising. <laughs> Honestly. My beard is dripping sweat. <laughs> I thought this was water. No, it's literally sweat. You shut up. I'm gonna barf. You're like, get so much cow you're eating. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, the most challenging part of this is that the beef starts to taste like shit. Like, I don't wanna eat any more fucking beef. That's the hardest part. And then the second hardest part is that I'm gonna barf any minute now. And there's such a small amount of beef there. It's like four ounces left. You've done well. Done. <laughs> <laughs>